good day everyone um just showing you guys the progress of my summer gardening and I'm barely holding on like my plants barely trying to hold on like if you're looking at my corn plants something is definitely eating my corn plants up they're trying to grow I came out here and I sprayed um, some neem oil mixed with a little dish soap and water but um, it doesn't seem like that really helped much so I might have to resort to something else but I am um, I have seed started more corn so that I can um, replace the ones that are struggling and it look like I'm gonna have to replace a lot of corn yep so that's the corn so far these are the baby zucchinis which is I hope that they make it through because it look like my squash over here my squash yellow crook neck squash over here is doing okay so they are coming up pretty good I had a bigger zucchini plant in there but it eventually stopped producing and died out so I had pulled it up it was right there in that corner so there's only three um, new planted zucchini plants that I have here um, and I hope they make it I plan to plant something else right in this empty spot maybe like some beans or something so that's what I plan to plant there and let's take a look on the inside bed alright these right here in front are my jalapeno plants and I do have a video clip where I attempted to take these and try to revive them by um, you know just reviving the soil with some Epsom salt and bone and blood meal and some compost I came out the next day and they were looking like this like all the leaves have fell off of them so all the plants all my jalapeno plants had all the leaves had fell off and it was just like this but look it's coming back so these are new leaves that are coming back so um, it didn't completely die. I thought it had died, but it didn't. And um, these are new leaves that's coming back. 
All right, so that's the jalapeno plants. Okay, these are my cayenne peppers. Alright, so that's those. And I do have some okra plants planted in, in here as well. Alright, and this is my front garden um, bed, by the way. Alright, so this a couple of little okra plants up here. That look like another one. And these are my um the tomato, the baby tomato plants that I planted in that I have like the little pots around them. And these pots are cut out at the bottom. And I did it that way because um, I just needed more stability for the tomato plant itself. There's another okra plant there. And there. I have to get a, a longer stick for that tomato plant. Yep, there's a to another tomato plant by the corn. So, mostly in this bed, I've, um, these okra plants were in my back garden bed. If you saw the, my last garden video uh, of me cleaning out my garden, larger garden bed in the backyard, and there was only um, one row of okra that survived, all the foolish that was back there. These, um, I had took out a lot of okra plants um, off of that one row because they were overcrowded. And I planted a lot of them in my front bed because I had room. And I also, like the bell pepper plants that I had issues with growing in the bucket, um, a couple of months back, I took those out the bucket. And I also planted those in my front garden bed as well. So, this is a bell pepper plant. This one is one look like it's growing a baby. Well, this one was growing, but I'm going to have to just take that one off. Since it's, uh, it went bad. But it does have another... Uh, baby plant on it. Alright, this is another bell pepper. And this one has a larger little pepper on it. I try to keep these on here as long as I can because I want them to get bigger. But I'm afraid it might get sunburned or the bugs might attack it. So I can pick it today if I wanted to, but I want to wait a little longer. Um, these are supposed to be carrots that I planted a few months back. So um, this whole little road through here is supposed to be with carrots. I only see but like uh, looks like it's just four that grew right here. All right, this is my other bell pepper plant, and this is the other one. All right. And it's just a cayenne pepper plant. Oh, got one red cayenne pepper. Alright, so this is my cucumber 
um, vine that was planted in the spring it's pretty much through with uh, producing cucumbers so I'm gonna pull that up I do have um, more cucumbers planted in my back garden bed so I'm just gonna pull these up alrighty and over here these are more um, tomato plants that I pulled up and they have gotten bigger you know just since um from like two weeks ago they've gotten they have grown a little bigger from two weeks ago when I planted them in these buckets and these also came from my back um, garden bed as well and these are uh, my peanut plants growing peanuts here so I got some growing in a box and I got more growing in a um, in a little swimming pool in the back this is my little blackberry vine I have to get more string and try to trellis that because it's grown more branches and these are more okra plants that I have planted right here um, this used to be where my collard greens were planted at in this pool some some of my collard greens were planted in this pool so um, of course when summer came and the bugs came out real strong they kind of killed the way my collard green plants so I pulled them up and these are okra plants that um, that I pulled up from my back garden you know just make an attempt to thin the ones out in the back so I just bought them up here and and they doing exceptionally well up here and one of them has a beautiful flower so I'm pretty sure that um, these will be getting okra on them soon so that's pretty much it for the front garden you know but I don't have a lot of uh, summer progress um, not as much as I did during the springtime you know everything was just booming you know booming and everything was growing uh, this past spring oh wow look at that this is a a huge grasshopper let's see I don't know if y'all guys can see that But we're going to just check out um, the few things that I have in my back garden. Alright, so I'm out here in my backyard where my other garden beds are. And nothing is looking just up to par right at the moment. This summer gardening for me is kind of tough. But um, just showing you the progress of my okra plants uh, from the last video I forgot to zoom back out All right just a moment alright so these are the okra plants the one lonely row of okra plants <laughs> alright so oh wow as you can see here I have two okras on, well I have one okra on two plants, so, alright that's awesome, so I better, I better pick that off before it gets too um, big, definitely don't want to eat tough okra, 
and even if it is just two okra I'm still gonna preserve it and hopefully uh, when all the others grow then I'm just gonna add it into the same Ziploc bag in the freezer so I'm just going to just take that off kind of hard to take that off should have bought me some scissors let me see if I can just kind of twist it off okay okay So I'm just going to take this one All right, so I got two nice size offers And it look like more is trying to grow that one It look like some baby okra right there trying to grow So hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll be coming out here to pick out more okra and this is the one lonely uh, bell pepper plant this one was planted in the spring and um, it's slowly produced it produced about three this is the third bell pepper uh, that it's producing all right and these are my sweet potato vines these are my uh, black eyed peas and pink eyed peas in here together and uh, I haven't gotten a huge harvest off of them I'm wondering if I uh, planted them you know too close or if they are overcrowded but um, the harvest wasn't as you know big as I was expecting off of these but I do plan to plant more and these are just more uh, sweet potato vines and these are the vines that that I uh, started from sweet potatoes myself so I just planted those vines a couple of days ago so um, these here I planted these back in April right along with these so I'm hoping that um, I want to wait until close to September to um, see if they ready all right over here used to be where all of my tomatoes were planted so these are the big boy tomato plants and they grew very tall and um, you know they didn't give me uh, like a very very huge amount of tomatoes and maybe because they was too stemmy like I'm you know just learning as I go that I supposed to uh, supposed to prune the tomato plants but I never did so um, they gotten pretty tall, but these are pretty much dead <laughs> and um, I just have to Come out here and clear out this little garden bed right here You know just clear this out and in the fall I'll be using it for something else and This little bush over here is a lima bean bush. So let me get closer all right, so this is the lima bean bush and just like the black eyed peas I didn't get a very very um, big harvest of lima beans off of here I'm wondering if it was due to you know maybe just it being overcrowded or growing too close together I'm not for sure but I figured you know if they are a bush variety you know, I just figured maybe it'll grow best this way. And 
you know, growing it in a kiddie pool, um, I'm able to, you know, just have better control of it, uh, where it can, you know, just grow in a sustainable uh, way that I can uh, have control over it. Um, but I do have some pods that I need to pick off. I didn't bring a bag or anything out here for me to pick these off. So I will be back out here to pick off some more of these um, llama beans. All right, let's check out some other things. Okay, so these are my new cucumber plants. And I started these from seed um, in June. And I trellis them with two tomato um, cages. So you can see that. So they're, they are trellis with two tomato cages. And I have them going up. And they're kind of growing up. And I think um, it looks cute. And as you can see here, I actually have a couple of cucumbers growing and that looks like one over there so yep I have a couple of um, cucumbers already growing which is uh, I'll wait a couple of days to take them off and of course I got some little baby ones lots of flowers and this is my sugar baby um, watermelon vines. And they are producing a lot of little baby watermelons. This is the biggest one I have right here. So that one's doing pretty good. This is another little big one and another one right there and I just have more growing on the little fence line so that's that alright these are the blue lake green beans and they're supposed to be like bush beans and I did plant a lot of seeds in here so most of them didn't germinate and I plan to go back to my um, garden center to purchase more um, green bean seeds and just plant around these that's already grown up and these are um, more peanut plants so a lot of those did very well with germination and if I can find more space or more room to grow more peanuts then I will and that would be my plan I do plan to plant more corn out here in this bed and um, and I have some corn seeds planted so when those come up then I'll find a spot out here to plant those at but yeah this um, is pretty much it with my little summer struggle garden <laughs> and um, I will be planting more things and you know just getting back to work with my garden uh, hopefully in September but um you know that's you know they will do it for this video um i'll just giving you just a little quick update on everything and um i thank you guys so much for watching and if you are new and haven't subscribed if you like my content you can look at my um previous other videos and you know if you like what you see please consider to subscribe and like my videos and i will see you guys on the next video you all have a great day and god bless